Hey guys, Kevin here with your KevCam tip of the day. So our last tip of the day, uh, I was covering the variable levels uh, option right here. And, and we, as we open it up right here, uh, I can come in here and click and get everything associative with the depth. And we're still using our same part with all the different depths. Um, now you guys can do this individually. Uh, one feature I forgot to show you guys is we actually have an automatic feature built in for this. So let's say um, you guys have just a bunch of pockets with variable depths and you don't want to have to click on each individual one. Easy enough. So what you guys can do is uh, you don't have to click anything on your part. Just come over here, do a right click and do auto detect for all. And what this will do is it will auto detect all your depths for you. So you can see we got uh, three quarters deep, half inch deep, quarter inch deep, and eighth inch deep. And it will also adjust your uh, upper levels for you as well. So just want to share that with you that it can automatically do it if you guys have a lot of holes or just don't even want to simply click on it. Um, and that way it will uh, show that for you. The only downfall of doing the auto calculation is if this part does change, um, the levels are not linked to the actual model itself. So you would have to, uh, if the levels did change on this part, you would have to come in here and just do the read, uh, the auto uh, level find for you. So just want to share that with you for the tip of the day and uh, talk to you guys uh, hopefully tomorrow or uh, Monday with your tip of the day. Thanks, guys. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.